question. If a mother and a daughter mortgage a house together and the mother decides to move to Birmingham from London, can she buy her, her own house with a mortgage, whilst the daughter will continue to stay in London and pay the mortgage for the first house? Mortgage question number two. Now, I've got to be careful with these questions because I don't want to be delving into advice, but I'm going to generalize some of the stuff that's coming back. It's from Kiki. Uh, I'm not sure if it's related to the song or not. Hi, love your videos. Very informative. I have a question. If a mother and a daughter mortgage a house together and the mother decides to move to Birmingham from London, can she buy her, her own house with a mortgage whilst the daughter will continue to stay in London and pay the mortgage for the first house? Um, thank you for your uh, thank you in advance right this is essentially about a second home situation I do a lot of second homes actually I get a lot of inquiries around second homes um, because of the nature of the world that we live in you know families have to bind together or they have to come together to buy properties now that's all great okay at the start however you are linked financially together and this is a perfect example of how that link could work for you and work against you so you and your mum have bought a property in London. Great, you've managed to get the affordability to fit and you now are both on the mortgage. Mum decides she's got a job or she wants to move to Birmingham and wants to buy a property over there. The difficulty is every other lender that she now has to approach will say, well, actually, you've got a mortgage in your name. You've got a residential mortgage in your name. Okay, so we have to take that into affordability. So when we're looking out to, for you to buy your own property, you've got this amount of payments to go uh, against you so this could be your mortgage payments now uh, so that will go against you so that's something you need to be told right at the start yes it's all great buying together I, I do it often when there's four people buying together often the parents and the children buy a big house together and I say look that's all great right now but what happens if the son or the daughter want to get married what happens because you're all you're all on this what if they want to get married and they want to buy a house together they essentially can't because they're relying on your son's income okay so it's not just about getting the mortgage right now it's it's you know a mortgage for a it's for a long time so these things that need to be uh, discussed amongst the family and obviously brought to your attention by various people so um, in this scenario what's the best case scenario that could happen in there the best case scenario that could happen is you go with a lender that will be a lighter touch on the affordability of the mother's existing commitments. Now, m there are lenders, what they will do from a second home perspective. Generally, second homes, you need to have 15 to 20% deposit. That's first thing, okay? Um, because you've already got a residential property. So you're gonna have a second home. They generally want more deposit. Also, um, different lenders have got different rules. So there are lenders that will only take your monthly commitment from a mortgage into perspective. So when they're running an, the affordability, whether or not you can afford the new property, they'll put your income in, but from your expenditure, they would put in, I don't know, say your mortgage is £600 a month. They will put £600 a month in there, but they will not include, which many do, council tax, bills, all the other utilities and often they'll take a hundred percent of those although you're sharing those often they'll take a hundred percent of it so it just depends on how what's going in and out of your account so there are some lenders that will just simply just look at the mortgage uh, side of things rather than all the utility bills so uh, two downsides to it really you need to have a greater level of deposit and it will be taken for affordability purposes so um, watch out on that one and there's nothing really you can do around it because they're residential mortgages the only other thing around it is you, you know if you if you were going to let the property out then obviously it becomes a let to buy and the rental will cover it but if your daughter's going to live there and you're going to live somewhere else it's going to be a residential second home and it will have to fit those rules hope you found it useful like and subscribe as always the content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.